children it is a continuation of the chapter introduction to trigonometry now about the trigonometric ratios of some angles you know sin of the angle a equals opposite side by hypotenuse cos of the angle a equals adjacent side by hypotenuse and tan of angle a equals opposite side by adjacent side and also other three ratios also you know now here if the measurement of the angles are given so what is sin 0 what is sin 30 degree what is sin 45 degree what is 60 degree what is sin 90 degree that we have to find the value here so let us obtain the trigonometric ratios of some specific angles 0 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree 90 degree etc now about the trigonometric ratio of 45 degree trigonometric trigonometric ratio of 45 degree so first let us obtain the trigonometric ratio of 45 degree so you know that trigonometry is particularly related to the right angle triangle in a right angle triangle one angle will be equals to 90 degree and here the remaining two angles are equal means they are equals to 45 degree so here with the help of an isosceles right angle triangle let us obtain the trigonometric ratio of 45 degree now let us obtain the trigonometric ratio of 45 degree and you know that this trigonometric ratios are related to right angle triangle and in a right angle triangle two acute angles are there and if one of the acute angle is 45 degree the other acute angle, angle is also 45 degree so here the right angle triangle in which one angle is 45 degree the other is also 45 degree means it becomes the isosceles right angle triangle now let us consider that isosceles right angle triangle to find the trigonometric ratio of 45 degree so you take the triangle abc in which angle b is 90 degree consider here in triangle in triangle abc right angled at right angled at b if angle a equals 45 degree then angle c is also 45 degree angle c is also 45 degree so here you will have angle a equals angle c equals both are equals to 45 degree as angle a equals angle c you know that in a triangle if two angles are equal then the sides opposite to equal angles are equal therefore you can write that the side opposite to angle A and angle C are AB side opposite to angle A is BC and side opposite to angle C is AB so you write here BC equals AB BC equals AB you write sides opposite to sides opposite to equal angles of a triangle are equal equal angles of a triangle are equal triangle are equal now let us assume let us take a b equals b c equals let us take it is a it is a the two sides a b and b c r we have taken that as a now here let us find the 
AC in terms of A and apply the Pythagoras theorem to the right angle triangle ABC. You know that AC is the hypotenuse which is opposite to the right angle B. So you take AC square equals AB square plus BC square and AC square equals AB square is A square and also BC square is also A square. You will have AC square equals A square plus A square that is 2A square. So take the square root on both the side that is root AC square is equals to square root of 2A square that equals you will get AC equals root 2A. Square root of A square is A. By using this AB, BC equals A and AC equals root 2A, let us find all the 6 trigonometric ratios. Now the first ratio is sine of the angle. So let us write sine 45 degree sin of the angle 45 degree sin 45 and you know that sin theta or sin of the angle is O by H that is opposite side by hypotenuse. So you write opposite side by hypotenuse. Opposite side by hypotenuse. So if you take the angle A is 45 degree and both are right 45 degree here angle A and angle C. If you consider the angle A then its opposite side is BC and hypotenuse is AC. Here you have taken that AB and BC are A and AC then we got root to A. Here AC we got root to A. By using the Pythagoras theorem we got that. So here you write sin 45 degree equals opposite side by hypotenuse that equals BC by AC. BC is A and then AC we got root 2 A then A and A cancels you will get 1 by root 2. So sin 45 equals 1 by root 2 then you take cos 45 cosine of the angle 45 degree and cos cosine of the angle is it is adjacent side by hypotenuse A by H so you take adjacent side by hypotenuse by hypotenuse adjacent side for the angle A if we take angle A as a 45 degree then adjacent side is AB then hypotenuse is AC and AB is A and AC is again root 2 A then AA cancels you will get 1 by root 2 cosine of the angle 45 degrees 1 by root 2 then you take tan 45 degree tan 45 degree tan is O by A that is opposite side opposite side by adjacent side opposite side is BC and adjacent side is AB then it is A by A both are A so here we got A cancels you will get the ratio is 1 now we got sin 45 which is 1 by root 2 cos 45 that is also 1 by root 2 and tan 45 that is 1 now let us find the its reciprocals sin reciprocal is cosec and cos reciprocal is secant and tan reciprocal is cotangent that is cot now you take the reciprocal of the sin cosecant theta that is cosec 45 degree cosec 45 is 1 by sin 45 and you will get 1 by 1 by root 2 that equals 1 into the reciprocal of 1 by root 2 you have to take root 2 by 1 here you got cosec 45 degrees root 2 then next one is the reciprocal of cos 45 cosine 45 cosine reciprocal is secant secant 45 degree that is 1 by cosine 45 degree that equals again 1 by 1 by root 2 so it is 1 into root 2 by 1 that equals root 2 so you got secant 45 degrees root 2 then the reciprocal of tan that is cot cot 45 degree cot 45 degree 
and it is a reciprocal of tan so you take 1 by tan 45 degree that equals 1 by 1 again you got 1 only so cot 45 degree is also 1 and the six sigma, trigonometric ratios of the angle 45 degree are sin 45 degrees 1 by root 2 cos 45 degrees also 1 by root 2 tan 45 is 1 cosec 45 degrees root 2 secant 45 degrees also root 2 and cot 45 degrees 1 cot 45 degrees 1 let us now calculate the trigonometric ratio of 30 degree and 60 degree now let us have the equilateral triangle ABC in an equilateral triangle each angle measures 60 degree so let us consider the equilateral triangle ABC in which all the three angles are equals to 60 degree so you take in triangle ABC angle A equals angle B equals angle C equals 60 degree that is 180 divided by 3 now here let us draw AD perpendicular to BC from the vertex A from the vertex A the perpendicular AD is drawn to the base BC now you have already proved that in the previous classes triangle ADB is congruent to triangle ADC how is it possible you know that here AB and AC are equal and also angle B is equals to angle C they are the angles opposite to the equal sides and AD equals AD common you will get therefore according to AAS congruence rule you can have that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD therefore here you will get angle BAD and CAD are equals and they are equals to 60 by 2 60 by 2 which are equals to 30 degree so let us write that one So right let let us draw AD perpendicular to BC in triangle ABD and triangle ACD you take AB equals AC and angle B equals angle C here why A B equals A C that you know they are the it is an equilateral triangle triangle A B C is an equilateral triangle then why angle B equals angle C they are the angles opposite to equal sides angles opposite to equal sides angles opposite to equal sides and also you know that here then angle ADB equals angle ADC both are equals to 90 degree that is construction made here construction made and also you can have one more that is AD equals AD common side also you take here in the place of AB equals AC you can also take AD equals AD now you can write therefore triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD according to AAS congruence rule according to a is congruence node therefore here the required thing is angle BAD equals angle CAD this is necessary for us 
angle BAD and angle CAD are equal and both are equals to here angle BAD equals to angle CAD both are equals to 60 by 2 equals 30 degree now here there is a right angle triangle ADB you got this is 60 degree and this is 30 degree now let us try to get the trigonometric ratio of 30 degree and 60 degree also you know BD equals DC that is also according to CPCT BD equals DC now for finding the trigonometric ratios we need to know the lengths of the sides of the triangle so let us assume in triangle ABC let AB equals BC equals CA all are equals to 2A it is for our convenient convenience so here you can take instead of 2A you can take any length here so here we have taken 2A and also you know that BD equals half of BC that is proved here BD equals DC means both are equals to half of BC that equals 2A by 2 equals A 2A by 2 equals A now you would consider the right angle triangle ADB you write in right angled triangle triangle ADB in the right angle triangle ADB you write here AD is required so you take AD square plus BD square equals AB square AB we have taken 2A BD is A and in terms of A let us find the length of AD that is by using the Pythagoras theorem AD square BD is A A square AB is 2A so you write 2A whole square then AD square equals you write AD square plus A square equals 4A square so AD square equals 4A square minus A square then it is AD square equals 3A square so you take the root on both the side then square root of AD square equals square root of 3A square therefore you got AD is equals to root 3A AD is equals to root 3A now let us use the right angle triangle ADB to find the trigonometric ratio of 60 degree and 30 degree and here we have taken that AB is 2A and AD we got root 3A root 3A and BD is A now let us take the sin 30 cos 30 tan 30 cosec 30 sec secant 30 cot 30 first here you take sin 30 degree here sin 30 degree is there and sin 30 that you know o by h o by h that is opposite side by hypotenuse opposite side by hypotenuse equals opposite side bd hypotenuse ab equals bd is a by 2a that a cancels you will get 1 by 2 so sin 30 degree is 1 by 2 next cos 30 degree cos 30 degree cos 30 degree that is cos angle is cos sine of the angle is ang adjacent side by hypotenuse that you take adjacent side by hypotenuse that equals adjacent side is 
और एंगल थर्टी डिग्री एडजेसेंट साइड इज ई डी एंड अपोजिट हाइपोटोनिस इज ए बी सो यू टेक ए डी इज रूट थ्री ए एंड हाइपोटेन्यूस ए बी इज टू ए सो यू विल गेट रूट थ्री बाय टू कॉस थर्टी इज रूट थ्री बाय टू देन टेन थर्टी टेन थर्टी डिग्री टेन इज ओ बाय ए दैट इज अपोजिट साइड बाय एडजेसेंट साइड एडजेसेंट साइड अपोजिट साइड ऑफ द एंगल थर्टी डिग्री इज बी डी एंड एडजेसेंट साइड इज ए डी देन यू विल गेट बी डी इज ए ए डी इज रूट थ्री ए ए ए कैंसल्स यू विल गेट वन बाय रूट थ्री सो टेन थर्टी इक्वल्स वन बाय रूट थ्री एंड बाय यूजिंग द साइन कॉस एंड टेन लेट एस राइट कॉस को सीकंड सीकंड एंड को टेंजेंट सो दस कोसेक इक्वल्स कोसेक थर्टी डिग्री इज द रेसिब्रोकल ऑफ साइन थर्टी डिग्री इट इज वन बाय वन बाय टू सो यू विल गेट वन इन टू टू बाय वन इक्वल्स टू सो कोसेक थर्टी डिग्री इज टू then you take the reciprocal of cos is secant secant 30 degree secant 30 degree equals 1 by cosine 30 degree that equals 1 by root 3 by 2 that is 1 into 2 by root 3 so you will get 2 by root 3 so secant 30 degree is 2 by root 3 then cot cot 30 degree cot 30 degree equals 1 by tan that is 1 by tan 30 degree equals 1 by tan 30 degrees that is 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 that equals 1 into root 3 by 1 we will get that is root 3 so you got साइन थर्टी वन बाय टू कॉस थर्टी रूट थ्री बाय टू टेन थर्टी वन बाय रूट थ्री कॉसेक थर्टी टू सीकंड थर्टी डिग्री टू बाय थ रूट थ्री कॉट थर्टी डिग्री रूट थ्री लेटस्ट नो फाइंड दि ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोस ऑफ सिक्सटी डिग्री सो फर्स्ट वन यू टेक साइन सिक्सटी डिग्री साइन सिक्सटी डिग्री here the 60 degree is angle b you have taken now sin theta or sin of the angle is equals to o by h that is opposite side by hypotenuse opposite side of the 60 degree angle is ed hypotenuse is ac hypotenuse is ab now you take ad is root 3a and ab is 2a a cancels you got that root 3 by 2 so sin 60 degree is root 3 by 2 then cos 60 degree cos sin of the 60 degree angle it is a by h cos of the cosine of the angle is a by h that is adjacent side adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side by hypotenuse that equals adjacent side for the angle 60 degree is bd hypotenuse is ab equals bd is a and a b is 2 a then it is a cancels 1 by 2 then the tan of angle 60 degree so you take tan 60 degree tan of angle is that is o by a opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side 
and the opposite side of the 60 degree angle is ED. Adjacent side is BD. Then that is root 3 A by BD is A. So A cancels, you will get tan 60 degrees root 3. Now let us find the cosec 60 degree, secant 60 degree and cot 60 degree. Now let us take cosecant 60 degree, cosec 60 degree. Cosec 60 degree is that is reciprocal of sin, reciprocal of sin 60 degree. Cosec 60 degree equals reciprocal of sin 60 degree that equals 1 by root 3 by 2 that equals 1 into 2 by root 3 equals 2 by root 3. So you got that cosec 60 degree equals 2 by root 3. Sin 60 degree is root 3 by 2 cosec 60 degree is 2 by root 3. Then the reciprocal of cosine 60 degree is secant that is sec theta 660 degree equals 1 by cosine that is 1 by cos 60 degree equals 1 by cos 60 degree is 1 by 2 so 1 by 1 by 2 that equals 1 into 2 by 1 you will get 2 cosine 60 degree is 1 by 2 secant 60 degrees its reciprocal 2 then the next one is cot 60 degree cot is the reciprocal of tan so you take cot 60 degree equals 1 by tan 60 degree tan 60 degree that equals 1 by tan 60 is root 3 so then you take root 3 that is nothing but 1 by root 3 only that is cot 60 degree is 1 by root 3 tan 60 degree is root 3 and cot 60 degree is 1 by root 3 in this way you got the trigonometric ratios of 60 degree that is 6 ratios you got sin 60 degree is root 3 by 2 cos 60 degree is 1 by 2 tan 60 is root 3 cosecant 60 is 2 by root 3 secant 60 degree is 2 and cot 60 degree is 1 by root 3 in this way you got the trigonometric ratios of 30 degree and 60 degree. You got the trigonometric ratios of 30 degree and 60 degree. Now let us find the trigonometric ratio of 0 degree and 90 degree. So you consider the angle A and here to make it equals to 0 what you have to do here? Here AC must come closer to the point B. The point C must come closer to the point B. And see here, in the second triangle, here the angle A is decreased. That becomes smaller. And also further it decreased to this extent. And again it decreased to this extent. And finally it reaches approximately to the 0. And what happens to the length BC and AC as the angle A goes on decreases you know that the length of BC goes on decreases see in the second figure you see here up to the point here the C is reduced to, to this extent and the length becomes from here to here so the length also goes on decreases as the angle A goes on decreases and also again further it decreases as the angle becomes smaller again here it becomes smaller and finally the points B and C coincides and the angle reaches approximately to 0 as the angle reaches approximately to, to, to 0 and here the AC and AB coincides and their length becomes approximately equal and what about the length of the BC as the point C and B coincides here C and B coincides the length of the BC becomes 0 AC AC be almost the same as AB and the length of BC becomes 
approximately zero as the angle a becomes very close to zero so the point c gets closer to point b and finally when angle a becomes very close to zero degree ac becomes almost same as eb when angle a is very close to zero bc gets very close to zero and so the value of sin a becomes the bc by ac which is close to zero so you write as angle a reaches to zero degree bc gets very close to zero very close to zero and ab becomes almost ab becomes almost same as b same as ab same as ab so sin e sin of the angle a becomes you know that opposite side by hypotenuse and here what happens opposite side is bc bc becomes zero here you write bc by ac here bc reaches to zero so zero by ac you will get that is close to zero is close to zero therefore you can say that sin of zero you take here that is sin of zero equals sin of zero degree equals zero you got the first ratio sin of the angle zero equals zero now let us find the cos zero again here you know that cos a is cos a equals that is a by h that is adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side by hypotenuse that is adjacent side is a b and hypotenuse is a c that is here let us take as a becomes zero a b and a c are equal so you write a b by a b or a b by a c a b by a b or a b by a c that equals one here a b and a c becomes equals as angle a reaches zero so you have to take that a b by a b or a c by a c so you got the value that cos zero is equals to one sin zero is zero cos zero is one again here next let us take the tan zero tan zero tan zero is nothing but sin zero by cos zero and sin zero is zero cos zero is one so you will get zero by one is zero you take cos zero degree and tan zero degree and also you can say that sin reciprocal is cosec cosec zero cosec zero degree that is one by sin zero degree one by sin zero means one by sin zero is zero and you know that it is not defined so what you can write here one by zero it is which is not defined not defined here the denominator is zero means it is meaningless so you have taken it is not defined next also you take cos reciprocal secant zero degree secant zero degree that is one by cosine zero degree equals one by one this secant zero degree is also one and also you take cot zero degree cot zero degree zero degree is one by tan zero zero degree one by tan zero degree 
again 1 by 0 which is not defined which is not defined in short let us take that is nd this is also nd so here you got that sin 0 is sin 0 degree is 0 cos 0 degree is 1 tan 0 degree is 0 cos x 0 degree is not defined nd and secant 0 degree is 1 cot 0 degree is also not defined that is nd in this way you got the trigonometric ratios of 0 degree now about the trigonometric ratios of 90 degree what happens to the trigonometric ratio of angle a if it is made larger and larger till it becomes 90 degree see here here the angle a is there and it is increased it becomes little larger and the point a comes here and it is a ac and again further it is increased and the point a comes here this is ac and further it is increased and the point a comes here and the length of this side ab goes on decreasing here the length of this side ab goes on decreases the point a gets closer to point a gets closer to b here the point a and b becomes closer and they may coincide also see here a comes here the point a gets closer to point b finally when angle a is very close to 90 angle c becomes very close to 0 degree here the angle c becomes close to 0 degree and the side ac almost coincides with the side bc side ac and side bc side ac and side bc coincides as it comes closer to the side bc and finally ac almost coincides with the side bc and when angle c is very close to 0 degree angle a is very close to 90 degree here angle a is very close to 90 degree as angle c is very close to 0 degree side ac is nearly the same as side bc here side ac is nearly same as side bc and the side ab is nearly zero here the side ab here a and b coincides with the side ab becomes nearly zero so cos a let us take first sin a sin 90 here cos a is very close to zero and sin 90 what happens to the sin 90 so you take sin a sin a is what that is opposite side by hypotenuse hypotenuse opposite side is bc and hypotenuse is ac here you know that bc bc and ac closes so you can take bc by bc or ac by ac that equals 1 here that is sin 90 degrees that is when it closes to 90 degree sin 90 degrees 1 as bc and bc and ac coincides and ab becomes equals to 0 here now let us take cos 90 degree cos 90 degree equals adjacent side so first let us take cos a here cos a is adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side by hypotenuse that is adjacent side is the ab and hypotenuse is ac when a reaches 90 degree you know that 
a and b coincides the length of ab becomes 0 0 by ac and that is equals to 0 you got that cos 90 is 0 tan 90 tan 90 is sin 90 degree by cos 90 degree sin 90 is 1 and cos 90 is 0 you got which is not defined which is not defined it is nd as the denominator is 0 you got 1 by 0 means that is not defined and as it is meaningless and similarly here you can take cosec 90 degree cosec 90 is 1 by sin 90 again it is 1 by 1 you will get 1 only then secant 90 degree secant 90 degrees 1 by cosine 90 degree that is 1 by 0 and it is not defined so you take it is not defined and cot 90 degree cot 90 degrees that is 1 by tan 90 and you know that that is 1 by tan 90 is not defined then cot 90 cot 90 is here what happens so let us take in terms of sin and cos cot 90 is cos by and sin cos 90 degree by sin 90 degree you will get cos 90 is 0 sin 90 is 1 you will get 0 cot 90 is 0 and tan 90 is not defined in this way got the trigonometric ratios from 0 degree to 90 degree that is 0, de 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degrees you got here now here let us consolidate it so angle a angle a the measurement you take 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree and 60 degree, 90 degree. You got the trigonometric ratios of these 5 angles. Now if you take sine, sine of the angle A, you know that sine 0 is, sine 0 degree you got 0 and sine 90, sine 30 you got 1 by 2 you got it and sin 45 is 1 by root 2 and sin 60 is root 3 by 2 and sin 90 is 1 now you take cos a cos a here there is reverse you take here it is here you can observe that cos 0 is 1. See this one. And cos 30 is root 3 by 2. And cos 45 is same. That is 1 by root 2. And cos 60. Then cos 60 is 1 by 2 and cos 90 it is 0 exact here in the opposite way you can make out you know that cos 45 and sin 45 are same and these two see observe here exchanged sin 30 cos 60 are same and sin 60 cos 30 are same and sin 0 degree and 90 degree are they are reversed sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 